Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel! What food are we eating today? Peter! Boom, 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 boom! Review stuff. And I am so excited to be, I'm so excited every single day. I'm so excited! I'll tell you why I'm so excited in just a second. But anyway, I am back at Arby's. The other day I reviewed their orange shake, which is called their or orange cream shake. And I am back at Arby's and today I am reviewing, here I'm gonna show you the sign if I can get you out of my bean bag. Today I am reviewing the root beer float and the Coca-Cola float. I'm gonna try both of them today and see which ones I like better. Now I have had Oh my God, somebody just pulled in here. The line is so long at Arby's already today. Now I have had the Coca-Cola float. Well, I've had a Coca-Cola float back when I was growing up. When I was a kid, my mother made root beer floats and Coca-Cola floats all the time, Sprite floats, all that kind of stuff. The line is ridiculous at Arby's today. I did not realize it was gonna be this long. Oh my God, everybody's wanting their roast beef. <laughs> So anyway, I'm really, really excited about um, doing this review today because I can't even remember the last time that I had a root beer float, but I just wanna say this. So we're gonna get to that in just a second, but before I do, I am so excited because a very, very, very good friend of mine, um, like one of my best friends in the entire world that lives here in Indianapolis, yes, I'm gonna have a fellow YouTuber here in Indianapolis, her channel is starting tomorrow, and I have been helping her with it behind the scenes, and her idea is just absolutely genius, and I am so excited, and it has a lot to do with two things that I absolutely love. I don't wanna spill the secret yet, so I will tell you guys more about it tomorrow, but I am gonna be talking about it on all my channels, so I'm really, really excited about that. But anyway, I am um, waiting right now to go through the Arby's and get my root beer float and my Coca-Cola float. I'm thinking like maybe it would be quicker to go to another Arby's because I passed another Arby's and it was like dead empty. So I'm thinking I'm gonna drive over there and get my floats. Because <laughs> I listen, you guys, this line, do you see? It's like there's so many people in line right now. I'm like, I do not have time to be waiting for this. So I, you know what, I'm gonna go to the other Arby's. I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I just pulled into the next Arby's and I'm pulling up. I will tell you about this in just a second, but let's order, I'm so excited. Rupert floats for me, Rupert. Okay, can I get um, one root beer float? Let's do a small. And then can I get a Coke float too? Small, small as well. Um, and order of potato cakes. All right, thank you. Um, I don't know what it is, but like when I pulled into Arby's, there was like nobody here and I was getting my camera situated and two people pulled in in front of me and it was literally like a 10 minute wait. I'm like, why is RB so slow? Like, I don't know what it is. But anyway, and um, so yeah, but there's like nobody in line over here. So I don't know if <laughs> five minutes away from the other Arby's that I was at, there's literally like an Arby's every five minutes. There's a Kentucky Fried Chicken across the street, there's a Hooters, and there's Fazoli's. I drove by that Hooters the other night, late at night on my vlog. Oh my God, they were hooting it up. and up. <laughs> they really were though, they were hooting it up. It was, um, if you go over to my vlog, you can see because they were being real loud. There's like this guy and he is like standing across from the window in the parking lot over here and he's just like standing and he's like looking in the window. I'm not really sure what's going on here. Probably some sort of true crime. And by the way, if you have not joined my true crime book club, what is wrong with you? <laughs> You should join my true crime book club because it is so fun. I run it with my good Judy Mel and it is called a true crime book club. Oh, why wouldn't we call it that, period. And um, this month we are reading about Eileen Warnos, uh, the female serial killer. And then next month we are reading about the Night Stalker. But this Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on You Now, which is linked below, I think. If not, it's linked below on my other channels. We are doing... Um, the live stream discussion of Eileen Warnos, and I am so excited about it. I'm so excited. Okay, I'm not gonna make you guys wait for two car lengths, because you can see, like, this is, I don't know what is taking so long, but this is really, really slow fast food. Anyway, I'll be back in just a second. Just a little update. I have literally been sitting in the exact same spot for 10 minutes. I've been sitting right here for 10 minutes. There are two cars ahead of me. I And there's one person in each car. I don't know what kind of orders they got. I don't know what kind of special orders they got. When I was growing up as a kid, my dad would be so bitter because we would go through McDonald's and I would always want um, a plain cheeseburger and he'd go, ah! Oh! 
special order food takes so long. So I don't know what they got on their beef and cheddar, but I am so over it. It's taking so long, but anyway, I just had to give you a little update. Okay, we're moving. <laughs> that van up there, they got like two huge bags. I have no idea what they ordered. Thank God I got my Starbucks first today. <laughs> I'm so ready for my root beer floats. I hope they're not melted by the time I get up there. Root beer floats of the world. What were all of your favorite summer foods? I was actually talking about this on my vlog the other day. How when I was a kid, we would go around and we would drink those. Do you remember those tumbler things? They're called little something. I looked them up the other day. I could not believe that I found what they were called. They're, um... Little, the little barrels, I can't remember what they're called, but they're called something. I look, found them. Oh my God, they got all kinds of, all kinds of stuff going on over here. Signs everywhere and my Lord, all kinds of stuff. He's like putting something in a bag and I'm like, I'm sure I don't have any kind of uh, root beer floats that go in a bag. Please don't put them in a bag. <laughs> please don't bag up my ice cream um, root beer floats, please. He hasn't even started making them yet. Ooh, that ice cream looks kind of drippy. It's like melting as it's coming out of the machine. Ooh, I don't know what I think about all that. This does not look very good, I'm just gonna tell you right now. First of all, my root beer and my Coke were sitting in plastic cups to the side for probably the last 10 minutes, if not longer. How are you? Well, I could have taught him a, two, a thing or two about how to make these. Do you sauce anything? Um, no. Uh, horsey sauce. Horsey sauce. Horsey? Yeah. Okay. Messed that up last time, didn't I? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ugh, look at that. It's like... These are... Uh, these are not good. First of all, let me tell you, okay? I, t I taught my good Judy Tanya this at the gas station. You, is this like a little shade over here? <laughs> Don't throw no shade, but this is, I'm getting in a little shade over here, okay. I taught my good Judy Tanya this at the gas station, okay? Because she's like, how do you get it all the way at the top with the slushies? What you do is, you, do you see this? It's like, it's like so melted which I guess doesn't really matter with a root beer float, but you kind of want the ice cream to be a little bit firm in a, ice, in a root beer float. But what you do is you put the lid on and then you fill it up. He didn't do that and it was like dripping over the side and stuff. Okay, let's start with these drinks. Hold on a second, let me um, get a thumbnail. Let's get this going. Now, you know what? They might look like they suck, but they might be really good. <laughs> do you ever like some foods that looks really bad, but it's like some foods? <laughs> foods. What do you review over here? Foods. <laughs> we just review foods over here. Don't even worry about it. I'm my own person. That's what my dog Boo Radley says. I'm my own person. Okay, cheers. Let's start, try this one. I. This smells like the root beer. I know it smells like the Coke. No, it's not good. You guys look, it's like so melted. Do you see this? Which if you like a melted float, then maybe you'd like that. But this tastes like it's been sitting on the counter for like a half an hour. No, this is, do you see? It's like the consistency is almost all white already. Mm -mm. It's kind of, it almost is kind of a little warm to be honest with you. That's not good. And I don't like a Coke float really anyway, but this, I would give a straight up one. This is horrible. Okay. Ugh. Let's try the root beer float. I think the problem is that, like, okay, so he had the cup sitting out, and it was, like, this much root beer. And then he filled it with ice cream, which the ice cream looked like it was melting anyway, and then he put the lid on it. So the Coke and the root beer have been sitting out there, and it was I, I think it was kind of a little warm anyway after being out for like 10 minutes plus, because I made my order, and it's been like, oh, it's been 14 minutes now. So I think like 
they were just sitting on the counter and then he filled the ice cream up when I pulled up there and it was like drippy. It was kind of like <laughs> drippy. <laughs> Everything's so droopy. What was that commercial back in the day? Yeah, they're not good. They're not good, they're both ones. Not even the root beer float. I was really excited about this. This is one of my most exciting ones. Okay, hold on a second. I'm gonna try these potato cakes and I am hoping that these potato cakes today, here they are, are better. Now, have you ever seen horsey sauce? So horsey sauce is basically horseradish sauce, or horseradish sauce that you put on your roast beef sandwich, but I put it on everything because it's so delicious. And um, I'm gonna try it on my potato cake today because the other day I tried the potato cakes and they were not good but this is a different Arby's today well these are really hot she agree you think you're really hot <laughs> okay do you ever get so excited for somebody else like I am so excited for my friend for her YouTube channel it's just already oh my god okay so it is such a great idea what she's doing I cannot wait to talk about it okay so here's the potato cakes I'm gonna take a bite out of it and then I'm gonna try it with the horsey sauce These are much better, much better. But all I have to drink now is this, but with coffee. Who wants coffee in a potato cake? Not me. Oh, these are bad. These are really, really bad. Oh. Like, these are like drinks that have been sitting in your car, like on a road trip for like eight hours, and you're so thirsty and you don't want to pull over. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, they're bad. They are really bad. Ugh. Okay, I'm going to... Dip it into the horsey sauce. Mmm. <laughs> so good, so fine. The other thing is, oh my God, those are so good. The other thing is, these aren't even cold. They're not even like really cold. Which is strange, because there's ice cream in it and stuff. I mean, they are, but Ugh. It's weird. They just taste weird. But potato cakes with the horsey sauce, five out of five. They're delicious. So anyway, I hope you guys have had a better experience with these root beer floats. I am not real thrown out by them. I think they're horrible, and I give them each a one out of five. And I don't know, maybe it's just how they were made today or that he was in such a rush with two cars. But anyway, I'm not happy with this at all. So... These are getting ones and they're going straight in the trash. Anyway, I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.